When I was a teenager, it was normal to do your own motorbike or car maintenance repairs. It saved money and you learnt a lot. But today, with the modern engine's dependence on sophisticated computer technology, there is really very little one can do. Fuel injection, variable valve timing and electronic ignition are commonplace. And to fix most things, your engine needs to be plugged into a PC. Yacht engines, however, buck the trend towards computer dependence, and for a very good reason. When we're miles offshore, we cannot call for roadside assistance, and we only carry a limited set of tools and spares. So, even the most modern inboard diesel engines are designed to depend more on mechanical rather than electronic systems. They're also engineered to operate in a harsh environment, and if properly maintained, are remarkably reliable. This short course aims to familiarise you with the marine diesel engine, demonstrate how to fix common problems, routine maintenance tasks, and discuss the spares and tools that should be carried. All engines are made up of a number of pistons that are contained in cylinders within the engine body or block. The pistons are also connected to a crankshaft. A controlled explosion of diesel fuel in each of the cylinders sends the pistons down the cylinders, which turns the crankshaft. At one end of the crankshaft is a flywheel that helps the engine maintain momentum. At the other is a gearbox that allows us to select forward, reverse or neutral and transfers the movement of the crankshaft to the propeller, which drives the boat. Let's take a look at just one cylinder to examine how this works. Diesel engines use a four-stroke cycle or, to put it more simply, there are four parts to each of the piston's journeys from top to the bottom and back to the top again of its cylinder. Firstly, the piston starts to travel downwards, and a valve opens above the cylinder to enable air to be drawn in. Next, as the piston reaches the bottom of its travel, the valve closes, and the piston starts to travel back upwards. As it does this, it compresses the air in the cylinder, as the air compresses, it becomes very hot, and as the piston nears the top of its travel, it superheats. The third part of the process involves the injection into the top of the cylinder of a fine mist of diesel fuel. This is supplied at exactly the right time via an injector, which is a very fine nozzle. The mist of fuel meets the superheated air and causes an explosion. This drives the piston downwards again. Finally, as the piston reaches the bottom of its travel, another valve opens. The cylinder is now full of the gases left by the burnt fuel. These exhaust gases are pushed out through the opening created by the valve and are vented over the side of the boat. The sequence then begins again. The entire four-stroke cycle can be summarised as suck, air is drawn into the cylinder, squeeze, the air is compressed until it superheats. Bang! A mist of diesel is injected into the superheated air, which explodes. And blow! The exhaust gases are pushed out of the cylinder. The four-stroke cycle requires a number of elements to work properly. It needs a supply of clean air to be compressed in the cylinders. A squirt of diesel fuel into each cylinder at the correct time. The pistons must make a good seal with the cylinders to ensure the air can be compressed. The entire process makes the metal of the engine very hot. To avoid damage, the cooling system must work properly. The air supply is rarely a problem. The marine environment is relatively clean. Problems do sometimes occur when the boat has been worked on and sawdust or similar gets drawn into the air filter. This is easily opened and cleaned. Compression is also a rare problem, and is more a sign of a badly maintained engine. There is little one can do at sea if there are compression problems, as the engine normally needs to be removed from the boat. However, over 90% of all diesel engine problems are associated with either the fuel or cooling systems. Both of these can be fixed at sea, and lectures on each follow.